This video demonstrates how to do a Huff model market share analysis with Maptitude. Your map will either need to contain two separate point layers of your store locations and your competitors, or a single point layer with selection sets identifying which are your stores and which are the competitors. In this map, I have a point layer of Lowe's locations and a separate point layer of Home Depot locations that I will use to estimate their respective market shares in Connecticut. Choose Tools, Analysis, Market Share, Huff Model. Choose the layer and sets that contain your stores here. I'm going to choose the Lowe's layer for my stores, choose to use all records in the layer, and if I had a weighting field, such as sales at each store or square footage, I could choose it here. I don't have any weighting field, so I will leave this as none. Then, choose the layer, set, and weighting field for the competitor stores, which in this case will be all features in the Home Depot layer. Next, you can choose how you want to display the results. The first method is with bands around the locations. I'm going to leave the defaults to create 10 bands of equal market share around the stores. You also have the option to calculate demographics for the bands by checking this box and optionally customize the demographics or create a report. Click Finish to create the market share bands. The theme shows the market share in 10% increments and the darker green areas are where the market share is higher for my Lowe's stores and the darker red areas are where the market share is higher for my competitor Home Depot stores. I'm going to hide the two store layers so that you can see the bands completely. Another way to show market share is to compute the market share for an area layer in the map, such as zip codes. I'm going to remove the layer that we just created and choose Tools, Analysis, Market Share Huff Model again. This time, I'm going to choose this option to calculate market share for areas, choose a layer from the drop down list, and choose which features to use. I also want to display the results on the map with a theme, so I will leave this box checked and click Next. Because the desirability of a location will naturally decrease over distance, you can fine tune whether the model should consider straight line or route based distances. I'm going to leave the settings as is and click Finish. Maptitude calculates the market shares for the zip codes and displays a data view that contains the market share for each store and the total store and competitor shares for each zip code. Because I chose to apply a theme, Maptitude also adds a theme to the map showing the market share in each zip code. So you can see from the map that zip codes in green are where the market share is higher for my low stores, and the zip codes in red are where the market share is higher for my competitor Home Depot stores. And that wraps up this tutorial on computing market share with Maptitude.